Hi, Jennifer. How are you doing? I am well, Michael. How are you? Doing great. Go Big Show is back January 6th. What is it like to return? Because this is such a fun show. It's such a fun show. And it is absolutely, it is wildly exciting this second season, not only to get to be back and that we have a second season, but what is happening on this second season is wildly exciting. Yeah, and you have a new judge now. Snoop Dogg's not back for season two. You got T-Pain now. T-Pain is in <laughs> as our, our fourth judge and is such a wonderful, wonderful addition to the team and to the show and to the vibe and to the fun. Um, he really brings, you know, each of us have our own distinct personalities and backgrounds. And what he brings is a, a beautiful, beautiful blend with all the rest of us. And also oftentimes surprising. I found myself on the show oftentimes looking at him like, who even are you? Because I've obviously we know him as T-Pain, you know, the entertainer, singer, songwriter, producer, et cetera. But some of the things that he has done in his life that he has shared throughout being inspired by some of these acts on the show, I'm just like, who? are you like so so getting getting to know each of us as judges has been a fun part of this process too awesome and and for season one it really was a like a a big hit I truly enjoyed it because I watched every episode yeah. and what was it that like every has there ever a better question is what well, has there ever been a time where you're just like is somebody actually doing this because I actually took a step back a couple times Yes, there are often times where I ask myself, like, I, I didn't even know this was a real thing. Mm -hmm. And I definitely didn't know that, like, and oftentimes I ask myself, and I even ask the contestants sometimes too, like, how did you think, like, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this, you know, like, this is a thing. Or how did you know you could do this? Or how did this, how were you speaking of news TV? How, mm -hmm. you know, like, how were you inspired to think that you wanted to try this like this is insane yes yes because I saw the first episode for season two mm -hmm. and I was just like yeah I don't know how this why I would how do, do you get into that you know <laughs> like I like if you're like yeah you know I'm I'm really into fill in the blank here like I'm I'm really into to science so I thought I'd become you know a scientist or I'm really into board games on the side as a hobby like all of those make sense to me but like oftentimes I'm just like yeah I don't know how you get into some of this yes and has there ever been a time where you're looking at something and you're just like I would like to try that yes <laughs> and you will see on this season um, Michael, several times, I mean, obviously myself and Rosario, somehow we end up, both of us as the two ladies, we end up really either being uh, invited or volunteering <laughs> for a lot of these, a lot of these acts where if they, you know, if they need assisting in any sort of way, or if they need participation in any sort of way. But I even found myself this season, not, not only wanting to participate in the acts, but just thinking like, I'd like to try that. Like that looks super cool and super fun and super crazy, but I still want to do it. So yeah, I'm definitely inspired uh, by some of them and some of them I'm completely repulsed and, and or terrified and no thank you. <laughs> and how is it working with Rosario and Cody Rhodes uh, to be a part of this team and now with T-Pain to really, it's because it seems like you guys really, really get along and in season one, it just had this nice gel and it seems like <laughs> season two is going to be the same way. I think in season two, it's even more of a gel just because we we have, especially the three of us, you know, and we've been able to then to, to then, you know, bring in and extend that to T-Pain, but we, we know the show and we know each other. So I think it makes it that more fun because there are things that we continue to discover, but we also have a nice flow. I describe it a lot of times as sort of like uh, if you've ever seen the movie, The Breakfast Club, where you have like these, you know, group of it's not four in that case but in this case it's four four very distinct personalities very different backgrounds very different people and yet when you all get in there at that saturday detention you're like all right we're all in this together you know like how can we make this the most fun mm -hmm. and uh jennifer i want to ask because we've seen a uh, great promotion especially connected with aew wrestling because of cody rhodes mm -hmm. have you thought about being like doing more like because we've seen Rosario show up we see T-Pain show up mm -hmm. we're gonna see you show up now you might I don't know you might 
great. I think it would be super fun. Yeah, I, I, I um, we have all talked about that, you know, in terms of wanting to do it. So maybe whenever he comes around on tour, I'll be able to jump in too, because uh, it looks like a blast. Yes, it does. And uh, just wanted to ask one quick question. Uh, what can you tell the Muse audience to get them to watch? Because it is a really fun show. This show, I would say, is not like any other show that I've ever seen before in the sense that most of the other shows that are competition shows are surrounding the performing arts, either, either singing or dancing. And I love, obviously, the performing arts, but this show is not that show. This show is everything but that. It is taking some of the wildest, most outlandish, most unheard of, or at times most dangerous Um performing artists who are out there, you know, acts that are out there, people who are out there doing these superhuman things. It's really superhuman what, what some of these people are doing. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Thank you. Thank you.